Hello friends. In the previous video, we have seen MCQs on fundamentals of engineering drawing and rules of dimensioning. Today, in this video, we will be discussing multiple choice questions on engineering curves. So, let's take a first question. Dash dash is a curve generated by a point on the circumference of a circle which rolls without slipping on a straight line. And here we have four options. Involute, cycloid, spiral and helix. And the correct option is B. Cycloid. Let's see how cycloid looks like. Here we have a wheel and a point on the circumference of a wheel shown in yellow color. When wheel rolls on a straight horizontal road without slipping, then a path traced out by a point will be a curve. And this curve is called as cycloid. Alright, let's see the next question. A wheel of a motorcycle rolls on a straight horizontal road and a point P on the periphery of the wheel, initially farthest from the ground. Which of the following is the path traced by point P for one revolution of wheel? Here we have two wheels. The wheel at the top has a point on its circumference which is farthest from the ground. And in the bottom wheel a point is on the ground. Let's see the shape of the path traced by point when both wheels starts rolling and completes one revolution. The paths are different for both situations, but both curves are called as cycloid. Remember this. So by looking at this, now we can choose a correct option from the given. And correct option is C. Next question. Which of the following is a conic section? And here are our options. Before we see which is the correct option, let's see what is the conic section means. Conic section is a curve obtained by cutting a cone with the help of an imaginary cutting plane. So, depending upon the position and an angle of cutting plane, we get the different sections or curves. For example, here cutting plane SS is parallel to the base of a cone. If we imagine that object is being cut by a cutting plane so that it gets divided into two parts and if we throw away the upper part and only looking at the lower part from top then shape or a curve which we can see will be a circle. So here circle is in a category of a conic section. And hence, correct option is C. Circle. Another curves belongs to the conic section are an ellipse, parabola, hyperbola and rectangular hyperbola. Alright, now let's look at the next question. If the distance of a moving point from the directrix is 40 mm and focus is 60 mm away from the directrix, then what is the name of conic section and options are to answer this question you must know about a term called an eccentricity so let's see what is an eccentricity you all know that this curve is an ellipse here this vertical line d d dash is a directrix and f1 is a focus Let's say that P is a moving point which is moving along an elliptical path. So distance of this point P from focus is PF1 and its distance from the directrix is PM. And an eccentricity is a ratio of these distances. 
means eccentricity is equal to PF1 upon PM. Dear friends, note that as point P is moving, after some period of time, its position will be here as a V. And for this position, we can write an eccentricity as a distance of a moving point from focus that is Vf1 upon its distance from directrix that is Vo. And this ratio will remain constant. Means eccentricity for an ellipse is always constant and it is always less than 1. For parabola, eccentricity is equal to 1 and for hyperbola it is greater than 1. Here in this picture you can see that the distance of a vertex from focus is increasing from ellipse to hyperbola and so eccentricity also changes. So if you look at the given data in a question then eccentricity is equal to 60 upon 40 which is 1.5 means eccentricity is greater than 1 so correct option is B that is hyperbola all right let's take a next question if the distance of a moving point from the focus is 30 mm and it is 60 mm away from the directrix then what is the name of conic section and options are now as we know what an eccentricity is from this question we can calculate an eccentricity and it is 30 upon 60 which is 0.5 means less than 1 and we have just saw that ellipse is a curve having an eccentricity less than 1 so here correct option is a ellipse well let's look at another question if the distance of a moving point from the focus is 2 mm and its distance from the directrix is 0.5 mm then what is the name of a conic section and these are our options this question is also based on an eccentricity and here an eccentricity is 2 upon 0.5 which is 4 that is greater than 1 means the name of this conic section is hyperbola which is in option B. Next question. If plane cuts at an angle to the axis but does not cut all the generators then what is the name of conic's form? Options are in third question of this video we have seen what exactly conic section is and which curves fall under the category of a conic section. Here, cutting plane cuts a cone at an angle in such a way that it's not cutting all generators of the cone. So, in this case, a conic section of 10 is called as hyperbola. So, the correct option is B. Let's take a next question. The trajectory of the clip diver follows is and here are the options and if you see carefully then the path followed by this cliff diver is a part of a parabola. So correct option is C parabola. Next question is if plane cuts at an angle to the axis in such a way that plane is parallel to one of the generators then what is the name of conic's form and here are the options ellipse hyperbola parabola and circle dear friends in previous questions we have seen when do we get a circle and hyperbola means what is the position of a cutting plane for a circle and hyperbola we know that so option B and D are eliminated for sure. So out of these remaining two options, which one is correct? Let's see. In this question, cutting plane is parallel to one of the generators like this. And here we can see 
a conic section obtained is a parabola. So the correct option is C. Parabola. Next question. Dash dash is a curve traced out by the free end of an inelastic string during wrapping or unwrapping over the circumference of a circular disk. And options are involute, cycloid, Archimedean spiral, and helix. And answer is involute. Let's see how an involute looks like. Here we have an inelastic string P P dash in unwanted condition. End P of a string is attached to the circumference of a circle, while another end P dash is free. When we try to wound the string around the circumference of a circular disk, then a curve traced by this free end P dash will be an involute. All right, let's see the next question. Identify the falling curve. And options are. I think you have noticed that this curve and previous curve are having almost same shape. And that's right. This is also an involute. Only difference is. This is an involute of a triangle and previous one was an involute of a circle. So correct option is A. Next question. Following figure shows an involute of an equilateral triangle of side 50 mm. What will be the distance CP1? And here are the options. If we look at this highlighted portion of a curve, then it is having a radius of 150 mm and center is B. Means BP is equal to BP1 which is 150. And we want to know how much CP1 is. So if we subtract BC which is 50 mm from BP1 which is 150 mm, we will have a length of CP1 and that will be equal to 100 mm. So correct option is B. Next question. Following picture of mosquito coil is an example of which curve? And here are our options. And correct option is C. Archimedean spiral. Let's see under what condition we get a spiral. Imagine that there is a link or a rod rotating about one of its ends in anticlockwise direction and completes one revolution. And then imagine a point on the same link which is moving linearly on a link from one end to the other. And if this point and link are moving simultaneously, means link is rotating and the point is moving linearly, then the path traced out by the point will be a spiral. Like this. And the shape of a mosquito coil is like a spiral. Moving on to the next question. Following picture is an example of which type of curve? And here are our options. This staircase is an example of a helix on a cylinder. So the correct option is D. Let's see the definition of an helix. Then you can relate this shape of a staircase with a helix. So helix is a curve generated by a point which moves around the surface of a cylinder and at the same time advances in the direction of an axis at a speed which bears a constant ratio to the speed of rotation. So here, one point is moving around the surface of a cylinder and advances in upward direction. If we consider a point as a person walking over the staircase, then that person is also moving around this cylindrical pole and at the same time moving in upward direction. Isn't it? Now I hope you have understood how this picture is an example of a helix. Next question. 
Eccentricity is a ratio of distance of a moving point from the fixed straight line that is directrix to its distance from a fixed point that is focus. And whether this statement is true? No, it's not. So answer is false. Because if you read it carefully, then you will notice that this is actually an inverse of an eccentricity. So the statement is not correct to define an eccentricity. Alright, so dear friends, that's all for this video. We'll see you in the next video with some more MCQs on another topic related to engineering drawing. Till then, take care and happy learning.